going to do the grape embroidery where that chalice applique goes. And so it's going to be on this piece of white fabric. That fabric is a little longer than I need. And that's good. Alright, so to get an idea where the middle of this is so that I have room on both sides to play with. It won't matter so much way at the very end, but it does matter a little bit here. So this is about the middle. Okay, so stabilizer and hoop so I can bring this a little bit more. Want this I want this line to be kind of straight. I don't want my as I go down the thing find out that I'm going off at an angle. So I want this to be kind of straight with the grain. So that's why I put so this is zero and this is zero and it's a little bit off. Not much down here, but I think it's also not lined, lined up right. Let me see here. Okay, so zero, zero, zero. I can actually pull this down some more. Now my stabilizer is not right, but... That's good. Okay, so now I want to fix the stabilizer. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pin this to the table so that when I move the stabilizer it won't my fabric won't go. I hope it won't go. Okay, so I'll pick it up this way. And now line up my edges. And I hope it's still zero, zero. It looks like it's lined up. Oh, pretty nearly. And my stabilizer is straight now. All right, so the piece that I'm starting with the bottom piece, you can't really see this very well. This is. Um, it's 
is sort of uh, what the leaf looks like, the grape leaf. And this is the bottom borderline. These are grape leaves. These are grapes. This is curlicue here. And this is the border that comes up this side. Then there's another border comes up this side under the grape leaf and comes around here to these grapes. Okay, so I want this to be in the center of the hoop. This is the largest piece. The other pieces will have plenty of room to move up and down in the hoop. This is This is the next piece. I should label that two. This is one, two, and this will be three. Now there's a space between that one and this one where the chalice goes. So And this. So the first thing I need to do is to open up this so I can mark my, this is my center of the hoop. one of these flaps down and now my center of the hoop should be these are all zeros should be right here This direction it should be here so this should be where the center of the hoop is I'm just going to put a pin or two to hold this and I want to chalk those lines just to see, now I know this has a tendency to move every, this to be one, one square this direction, but as I say I've got plenty of, plenty of fabric here to play with so if it does do that I'm not concerned. At least not on the first hoop. On the other hoops, yes. Alright, where's my chalk? Use a let let's use a yellow line. Okay, so this is this is the center of the hoop. So right there. So now I should be able to go over and just So the design. All right, I finished sewing off the bottom one. I'm going to go back in and with the sewing machine instead of the embroidery machine and go over these lines. They'll look a little rough to me, and uh, so and I made a few changes. This was supposed to be green and yellow. The original design has had that. Um, but where the chalice is supposed to go up here has a red one next to it. Now the original design doesn't have a chalice here. He wants that in there. 
So I decided to put the green ones on both sides of the chalice and the red one down here. There are three different color reliefs, a green, a green, a green yellow, and a red, sort of red. Uh, it's more of an orangish red. So, um, so I'm putting the orangish red away from the chalice because I don't want any clashing colors there or too much of the same color. So, so I'm going to cut away this extra stabilizer and now the next piece is this one. You can't see it, but it goes like this. This is the leaf. And it's not exactly, actually it comes out here like this. And there's a curlicue here and there's grapes here. And this is the border, and this is the border. Those are the things that have to match. So, we cut, cut my center out of this. This, this is the way the hoop goes, up here like this. So I'll fold this one down. These lines should meet here somewhere. And this should come off of this one. So let me cut this in a little bit closer. You can actually see the line. This line should come off of this one and these should meet. something along those, that line. All right, now I also want the centers, here's my center down here, the centers should be lined up too. That, that looks okay. It looks a little tiny bit askew here. Alright, so I think that's right. So I'm going to put some pins in here just to hold this paper in place. My hoop is underneath it, so I can move the hoop around. Oh, I didn't put stabilizer on here. It's not going to help much. Uh, so, let me pin these together. Stabilizer, where did I put it? It is. Alright. So, alright, so there's this stabilizer really likes to roll around. It just came off the roll. Alright, so I like to line it up at this edge and should be about here. Now this needs to be the center of the hoop. And the center of the hoop should be right about here. Right, so let's see. There's the center. And that looks to be about right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it and then measure. That's why these snap hoops are nice. It's called Magna Hoop, I think, not Snap Hoop. There is some another brand called Snap Hoop. I have it. I don't like it as much. Uh, first of all, it doesn't come in the big size. It's I think B is their largest size. 
Okay, so now I want to see if these line up and it looks like it does. Tiny bit off. This could be up a little higher. Come on. All right, let's see now if it lines up. That looks better. And I want these lines to line up the actually should because that's going right through the center of that. And these lines. It's a little bit off, but it's straight. And I can use the I can use the jog, jog stitch button to move that up slightly. So this is going to be my center. I hope. Um, and I don't have any keys on this one. That was, I had a key on this one to match this edge, but. This thinking this would be the third hoop, but I'm really sewing it first. Um, so that's bad of me. Where's my chalk? I'm going to have to chalk a line. So that I know I'm not using pen for that. Where's my? There it is. All right, so this should be the center. And this should be the top of that line, and this should be the top of this line, and this should be meeting somewhere right about here. I hope. All right, so. I'll go see, see how that works. Okay, so I finished the second part of the design. It's cutting off the excess stabilizer here. Now, before I put the third part of the design on, the, the chalice applique that I made is going to go in here. And then, where's that other piece? This go, is going to go up here above it. But I also want to make sure that I ha this is going to fit on the on here on the. Okay, so probably going to want to come a little bit higher. And, all right, there's grapes there. Okay, so if this goes here, that's it's going to give me enough room. going to have band of um, I might go up a little higher on this not have this quite so close this that's what I need to understand right now is where I'm going to put this because I need to mark that because this is not hooking, originally was meant to hook to this piece, but because that chalice is in the way, I need to decide where this is going to go. And I don't think I want, there's a, you can't see it, but there is a, 
There's a vine here. I think that's it here. Actually, it goes this way. That makes more sense. It's always good to look at the arrow. Okay, so you have grapes here. All right, so I don't want those up against this. I want a little bit of space, the same almost as what I have here. So I think this is going to be, this is about where I'm going to want it. So I put this out of the way. And I'm going to chalk, I'm going to chalk a line. chalk the line on this side. And now with those lines there, I know this is about where I want my center and I didn't cut I didn't cut that open. So let's do it now. Okay, so Here's the chalk lines on both sides, and it's about right, maybe a little more. What about the same amount? All right. Okay, so this is where this is where I want my center. Okay, so now I can take this out of the way and take this and put the hoop underneath it. I need a piece of stabilizer. Piece of stabilizer. Okay, so Again, lining this up. I like to line the, the stabilizer is a little bit shorter than what I really, really need. It just covers the inside of the hoop, but it, it really would be nicer if it went out beyond it. I do have stabilizer that does that, but I'm running out of it and I'm keeping it for projects that really need that extra space. This will work. This there's not this is not a heavily embroidered piece. This should work fine. I used the, I've been using the stabilizer with the other two sections. 
So I'm putting pins in this just not inside the hoop because I have to put the fabric there, but outside the hoop here just to keep it from rolling around on me while I line this up. Okay, so now again, this piece can go up and down. It's, it's small and the hoop is big, so I can adjust it in the machine. But I am going to line it up here and put some pins in to hold it while I adjust the hoop to get to make sure the hoop is straight. Okay, so I've got my my crosshairs lined up, my edges lined up. doesn't look quite straight. Let's try this again. That's better. And This hoop going to the center, center is right here. And this center is here, which I know is this needs to come this way a little bit more. I'm going to take these, these out now. Actually, it's the hoop that I want to move. So. This looks like it's lined up all right, but this this side here is about an inch off, so I'm going to pull the hoop down about an inch. Still not enough. I'm moving the hoop, not the fabric. All right, so. That looks close. So let's make it sure it's straight by measuring it with the first we'll pull all of this fabric. And it doesn't look straight to me. This line up here, up here looks crooked. But let's start with the middle. So here's zero, here's zero, and we're about a, an eighth, a quarter of an inch off. And here's zero, and here's zero, and we're Oh, at least a half of an inch off and a little crooked. So, with that in mind, I'm going to take lift the hoop again and come on. And I said it was a half an inch too low. Now, two law is a quarter of an inch, so I want to go up about a quarter of an inch. And again, I can adjust this. If, as long as I have it straight, I can adjust those quarter of an inch, inches and half inches in the it, at the sewing machine. But I can't address, adjust straightness. So I need to make sure that it's straight. Okay, let's try this. So zero to zero, I'm still a quarter of an inch off, but I looks like I'm straight that way. And this way, I'm almost on line, and I am straight that way too. 
So I'm, I've got it straight. That's the important thing. And so I'll go the last adjustments, which will be moving it in the hoop a little bit that way. Um, I can do with the jog stitches in the in the program. So I'll just take it over and sew it. So I've finished the embroidery. I cut away the excess stabilizer on the back. Cut away all the excess stabilizer on the back so that it lays flatter. Um, I'm going to press it now and then I have to mark the cutting lines for the edges of this to put it down on the other piece. So first is pressing. Pressing on the back. Could use a press cloth. Uh, with this type of fabric, it might work even better because this fabric tends to hold the wrinkles without. If you used a press cloth, I would use a damp press cloth because it can use. This really needs. I mean, well, it depends on your fabric. Mine needs a little bit of dampness to get, get these wrinkles out. And right now I'm using steam and the, the button on the iron. That's as good as it's going to get. Alright, so this piece is um, within the embroidery is five inches. Outside the embroidery it's, I have about an inch sure what I did. Yeah. So it's about three quarters of an inch. Alright, so now this is not, this looks a little twisted here. of an inch. Put up to this point here where this twist comes in. I don't like it that it's twisted there. I don't know if I can untwist it or not. The whole thing goes. I have to get a damp cloth after all and Okay, so. 
so right here. Where I cut this, I think I am going over it with a damp cloth. This is the top. So those, the lines, the cutting lines, um, 